Yes, hello and welcome to my quick demonstration of the 3D experience platform for design and styling. And the purpose of this presentation is to illustrate the main benefits that you get for a design studio with the 3D experience platform. So it's a lot about the collaboration um, without interfaces. So let's start. So as mentioned, the main benefit of the 3D experience platform for styling department, but of course also beyond. So that what I'm saying right now is also true for like the collaboration with other departments, but as well within it, the styling department is that every profile of a styling department can come together on the same platform and they can collaboratively work on the same data on the project without any any interfaces while they do this each of the different profiles has uh, its own set of tools uh, we call it roles um, and with these roles they get access to certain applications so you see here a selection of the applications that the different profiles um, use to to do their job but while they do that they all access the same data and i want to show a quick video which should illustrate this workflow with the, this collaborative workflow with the 3d experience platform um, by an example of a, of a quick video where you will see the design workflow of a, of the creation of a coffee machine design concept so it's in this example a coffee machine but this could be applied to any other project product as well in the exact same workflow so it starts with the engineer or studio engineer and he puts together the package um, for the for the design for the styling as an assembly in Katia on the 3d experience platform and now we have the creative designer and we use a, he uses here an application called human design to have a physical reference in a scene uh, he can insert sketches and then we have uh, 3d sketching with the application natural sketch um, yeah, and he sketches around the package of the engineer um, in order to have a first idea and understanding of his um, yeah of his volumes and he can do that and that's uh, the point that is very important let me pause the video here for a second he can do that um, while the engineer is still working on the package he doesn't have to wait until the engineer is finished because he will always know because he included uh, the package of the engineer in his um, assembly he is always sure that he has here the latest status of of uh, of the data so as soon as the engineer on his side hits the save button the designer will instantly see the update of the engineering um, so he doesn't have to wait until the engineer says okay i freeze my package uh, and you can continue or you can start now to the creative designer no they do it simultaneously and like that you move from a sequential workflow where one is doing uh, his work after the other uh, to a collaborative uh, simultaneous workflow <clears throat> which can save you a lot of time um, so here yeah the designer uses subdivision surface modeling with imagine and shape um, in order to create his design surfaces and yeah, thanks to the history that we have on all the models in Katia, um, you can try out many different variants. So while he is um, working on the model, the manager has access to the browser part of the 3D experience platform. So there's one part that of the platform that works completely in the internet browser. So we usually use Google Chrome. Um, and there is one part which still requires a, a local installation. So on the left side, you see the, the designer modeling uh, on the local installation uh, and the uh, manager who might not have CAD skills in Katia, but just wants to review the data. He can just log into the browser part of the platform and review the model, the actual status of the model at any time. And from everywhere as well, even from her mobile phone, she could access this data while she is uh, somewhere at an airport. And she can write annotations and uh, communicate with her team. According to the, um, to the feedback or input now from, from the manager, um, the creative designer updates his surfaces. Again, thanks to the history that we have on all our models in Katia, um, it's very quick and easy to update. 
because you don't produce dead surfaces and it creates an intersection with the engineering um, surfaces so instantly the engineer he will see uh, those uh, interfaces or intersections and he can update his um, model or his parts accordingly to the design um, input so it fits again so of course this can be a vice versa sometimes it might be the design who has to change the the surfaces um, and sometimes the engineering and here yeah, you see the creative designer using various modeling methodologies so you saw some classical Cartier NURBS modeling. So he mixes uh, the surface creation between subdivision surface modeling um, and classical Cartier NURBS modeling and also other modeling capabilities from class A, uh, so busy uh, surface modeling. All the surfaces that you create in Cartier are real Cartier surfaces and therefore, um, yeah, all the features from all different applications can be applied to any of those surfaces. So you can start with one application and then continue with another one.